The Jintang Garment Dry Stop Company must import 70% of its materials, primarily from China. It therefore faces a tough time if it hopes to enjoy the zero tariff policy regarding rule of origin contained in the agreement. Our problem is inputs. We must seek alternative sources at home to meet the EVFTA's rule of origin and enjoy a zero tax rate when exporting to the EU. We try to find domestic sources that can meet 60 to 70 percent of our demand to satisfy the requirements in the agreement. Figures show that, despite its high export value, the local government sector mainly completes simple stages such as processing. The high requirements of the EVFTA's rules of origin, therefore, present a major challenge. We still depend very much on imported materials. We need to set up industrial clusters or zones where government enterprises can gather together and form a closed production chain, which would help cut the dependence on imported materials while increasing added values to our products. Once the EVFTA comes into effect, the existing average tax rates of 12% will be reduced to zero over the period of three to seven years for garment and textile products. To benefit from the tax reductions, Vietnamese textiles and garment producers must strictly obey rules of origin, meaning that raw materials must be sourced from Vietnam or the EU and the cutting and sewing processes must take place in either. The majority of materials used to produce garments and textiles in Vietnam are currently imported from China, which has no FTA with the EU. To deal with any material shortages, it will be necessary for Vietnam to focus on developing the textile industry and its support industry to ensure sufficient supply.